when you have a critically injured child, it's a club no one wants to belong to and you feel very lonely and you feel very isolated. But when you're surrounded by other people in this small environment that understands where you're coming from, you can sit down and have a meal and talk to a mom who's going through the very same thing that your child's going through. My name is Allison McCarthy and I am the Chief Executive Officer, the CEO of Ronald McDonald House Charities of Greater Las Vegas. I've always kind of had a philanthropic bone and so one day my best friend, she sent me a Instagram message and, and it was a hiring post for the Ronald McDonald House here for the marketing coordinator position. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I really like the Ronald McDonald House and it sounds like something that, you know, would fit for me. So I applied, it's my second year and it's been amazing. Uh, my name is Julia Copey and I'm the marketing coordinator at Ronald McDonald House Charities of Greater Las Vegas. Sometimes a tourist comes to Las Vegas and things don't go so well and they end up in the hospital maybe they go into premature labor and they're here for the next two three six months well they need a home away from home and we are that facility money equals mission no money no mission a lot of folks mistakenly think that mcdonald's funds our entire charity they are a wonderful founding mission donor and a mission partner and they always will be and they account for about 8% of our annual operating budget. But it is the heartbeat of the community that funds our mission. It's that $25 check that comes in every month. It's that $10,000 check from a company. It's a $100,000 from a foundation. All of that comes together and makes the two and a half million dollars it takes to make sure that our lights stay on, our doors stay open, our family room at the hospital is operating, you know, 24 hours a day. We don't survive without the Las Vegas community. And it's so funny because people outside of Las Vegas think of the Strip, which is a wonderful place to have fun. But the Ronald McDonald House doesn't survive. It doesn't function. It doesn't operate at 100% peak performance without our community. We are getting ready to cut the ribbon on our second house. And it's different from our first house and in fact we have the eyes of the rest of the Ronald McDonald Health Systems who are watching us because this is an innovative approach to caring for families in medical crisis. Uh, I love the, the campaigns for the new house. It's been so fun. You get to see the very different stages of the project so it's really cool to be able to share that with our supporters. This house is 13,000 square feet with 12 individual rooms. There's two double beds and a bathroom. Everything else is communal. The area we're sitting in here is a beautiful communal family room. It's a communal kitchen where wonderful home cooked meals are made every night. In this new facility, it's 10,000 square feet, but it's eight independent patio homes. They each have their own kitchens. They each have their own family rooms. They each have a master bedroom for the parents and they have a children's bedroom. They have their own laundry facilities. And then each patio spills out into this beautiful central courtyard. And that's where the communal activities take place. So our families can be as communal as they want, but when things get tough and they need to pull back and they need to have a little bit of privacy and a little time on their own, they've got the space to do that as an intact family. When someone buys a shirt or buys a hoodie here at the house and they wear it to the grocery store or the airport or anywhere that they might go, it draws attention and you know I've had a couple conversations with people when I was wearing my hoodie or my t-shirt and they were like oh what is the Ronald McDonald house and we just get into a really great conversation about what we do and they end up supporting our house. Our, our adorable marketing coordinator who is so talented she's young she's energetic she's creative so she she comes dancing through my door yesterday with the shirt in hand, going, look what's here, look what's here, look what's here. And then she turns it around, and there's our slogan that we just came up with. We're more than a house, we're shelter from the storm. We're more than a meal, we're food for the soul. We're more than a ride, we're a journey of hope and healing. We're taking it to the run in just a few weeks. It's one of our biggest fundraising um, events. It's a six-figure event. We make over $100,000 by having folks come out to um, this beautiful park. It's amazing when we see the Las Vegas community come out for our events and just have a great time. We raise so much money. And we're going to have a booth where we set up the shirt. And it is going to fly off the shelves because that shirt really speaks to people. And people who are coming to that run to support our mission, to support our families, they're going to want to have that. 
because it's just a really cool shirt. And then we give them to our families too. You know, you get a, a blank canvas of something. It could be a tote bag, a hoodie, a shirt, a mug, and you can really just put the mission on there. You could put a family photo or a saying or a picture of the house, and it really does help spread awareness. When we came to pick the shirt, um, the material was really important to us. We needed a durable material, but we needed a really breathable material. We needed a material that wasn't going to snag easily. And then we also needed the right fit on the collar. I mean, these are just the little specific things. And they mean a lot. When you're going to be wearing this merchandise, you're going to be wearing that shirt over and over and over again. You want it to last, and you want it to remain like new. We look at quality when we're buying our material and um, and then we're looking what's going to look good with our story on it, our logo on it. I think our hoodies that we did last year were really successful. I would say right now um, our keychains are kind of a hot item. So we're driving around, we pull into any random McDonald's just to see if they're asking their customers to round up. That's a big revenue stream for us, round up for RMHC. If they happen to ask us to round up, which last weekend they did, I get to pull out this keychain and it's just this beautiful, colorful keychain. And when we get up to the drive through window, I say, congratulations for asking me to round up. We're the prize patrol and you get to have this fun little gift. It's funny, I don't know if a lot of people realize the significance of just a thank you gift. You know, it doesn't matter how small it is. It's awesome to see people go around to McDonald's and round up. That's a really easy way to support the house, as well as just bring pop tabs to our house. Even though there's a lot going on around us that can bring us down, don't let that pull you in. There's so much good out there. Be a part of it, and it will fill your soul.